admit to UC Berkeley and a ton of the other UCs in fall 2022. And today I'll be reading out my essays that I wrote that helped me get in. I got a lot of questions about my essays after I made my previous video about my stats and extracurriculars. So I really hope this will help all the students that are applying to these UCs and I wish you the best of luck. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first prompt that I wrote about was, think about an academic subject that inspires you. Describe how you have furthered this interest inside and or outside of the classroom. Horribles. At the age of 14, I was abducted by an elf. I traversed through dangerous forests, decoded complex riddles, and unearthed my powers. I became one with Sophie Foster and channeled her intellect and courage to face my own problems, courtesy to Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. Her words funneled me into a portal, carrying me to another world. Inspired by authors like Colleen Hawk, who wove Indian mythology into descriptive writing, and Shakespeare, who taught me that there is no singular way to write a novel, I crafted my own portals. I scrawled words as they tumbled through my brain, quickly filling empty slates with 12-point Times New Roman font. To further develop my interest in writing, I participated in a selective program where I reviewed unreleased books for authors and offered my first-hand opinions on why our local store should invest in their literature. I analyzed the structure, character development, and dynamic growth of each story, which I turned into short, quick-witted paragraphs to help readers assess which book suits their interests. Observing what appealed to readers taught me to better my own writing and establish a stance as a creative storyteller. Every time I write myself into a new portal, I'm cured of onism, being confined to one body. Through my furious typing and creative mind, I've been given numerous lives to explore. Whilst turning the printer on, I anticipate the feeling of fresh hot papers coming out with script ready for my sacred red pen. I take this pen to AP Literature where I annotate prose passages and explore the composition of literary pieces, allowing me to delve into unknown nooks and gateways during Socratic seminars. These experiences have shown me the multitude of ways to storytell. I intend on jumping into a myriad of portals by reading the various books offered at the University of California where I will explore writing styles on a global level. I adamantly believe this education will unlock new portals and present opportunities to publish the endless drafts resting in my Google Docs. So that was my first essay and something I really liked about it is the way that I took writing, which is something I'm super interested in. And at the end, I tied it back to the University of California and how it's gonna help me grow my writing skills. I also think that this had nothing to do with my major. It showed a different aspect of my life, which I think they liked. And I really like how at the beginning, I started with the kind of hook that was really interesting. Like, I don't think anyone has started a sentence by saying I was abducted by an elf. I was trying to put them into the mindset I go into whenever I'm reading books. Okay, so now on to my second essay. This was the topic I wrote about. What would you say is your greatest talent or skill? How have you developed and demonstrated this talent over time? Communication. During my usual runs to Panda Express, I am reminded that individuals are like fortune cookies, similar on the outside, but each revealing original ideas. Hence, I enjoy interacting with strangers because these seemingly standard encounters often develop into meaningful exchanges, leaving me with a deep sense of fulfillment and joy. This leads to my talent with effectively communicating, which has developed through various settings. The knowledge I gain from spontaneous interactions connects to my obsession for watching and analyzing TEDx speakers. I draw from the speaker's eloquence and charisma and attempt to reflect these characteristics during the numerous panels, speeches, and community cultivating discussions I conduct. These experiences have allowed me to test styles of communication. My work as the Director of Partnership at the Urban Garden Initiative enabled me to foster global conversations and build a stronger sense of community. Through eye contact, facial expressions, and tone of voice, I displayed my passion for sustainability more openly. Recognizing the way kinesics and gestures have on communication, I now complement them into daily conversations and high-stakes scenarios. Although my communication skills landed me internships, my greatest accomplishment has been guiding others on how to make themselves heard. One instance I will never forget is motivating my class my life to speak up. Showing my support and encouraging her to share her thoughts is important because her opinions matter in these spaces. I dedicated time to understand what she wanted to share on a private Zoom call. Then I provided an introduction to her idea during our team meeting before handing the floor over to her. Seeing the smile on her face, I empathized with the relief she felt from finally conveying her ideas. The diversity at the University of California will introduce me to a plethora of people, each stuffed with a fortune cookie-esque charm. By taking on more active roles, I will help myself and others advocate for our ideas. As the next fortune cookie crumbled in my mouth, I carefully pulled out the white paper with a small script that read, communicate wisely, it is your key to success. 
I really like how in this essay, I talked about my favorite food place, which is Panda Express, and connected it to my communication skills. And I did this in a really creative way where I talked about a fortune cookie and how everyone is like a fortune cookie. And then at the end, I concluded with the tiny script inside of the fortune cookie and how that related to my communication skills. I feel like all my essays, something you're gonna notice is that they have an opening and a conclusive ending. So it draws a full circle. And I really think those essays are more enjoyable to read and it sounds more conclusive at the end. Another thing that you're gonna notice is that I do refer to the University of California really broadly at the end because I want to connect myself to their school and why I would be a good fit at their school. So for my next essay, the topic that I wrote about was what have you done to make your school or community a better place? Anshika, to be a part of a bigger whole. The Sanskrit name my aunt bestowed onto me encompasses how I feel about being part of a community, one part of a whole. Individual efforts are echoed by others in a group because we all make up pieces of our surroundings. In the case of gender inequality, a prevailing global issue, it is prudent for all of us to come together as one. Walking into AP Calculus every day, I was reminded of the disparity, being one of seven girls amongst 30 additional students. This image is the reason for my continued statement that every individual, regardless of gender, deserves the same opportunities and exposure towards their interests. To make a difference in this fight for gender equality, I joined Vijay Computer Academy, VCA, as a business development intern. Specifically, I employed my writing and advertising skills to bridge the gender gap in information and communication technology fields. Through extensive research on optimizing Instagram's SEO, I promoted educational courses targeted to women looking to enter the workforce. Additionally, I partnered with less diverse companies to disseminate career opportunities. Empowering women while creating equal opportunities is my way of contributing to the community. At VCA, I was also responsible for hosting webinars that educated others on the discrimination women face in technology. Here, I highlighted that everyone is one part of a vast community that can band together to overcome obstacles. By informing the audience about statistics and sexist ideologies regarding the wage gap, I help further the movement towards gender equality, pointing out that acknowledging the issue is the first step to tackling it. While this webinar inspired my community, it also emphasized how my ability to bring people together can create a lasting impact. At the University of California, I plan to continue contributing my part by joining women's organizations and promoting inclusivity within all crevices of the school. This fight against gender inequality has made me more passionate about taking part in a whole community. I am a part of the whole. I am Anshika. I really like this essay because I talked about my name and the meaning of my name, and I know a lot of people do that, but I think the meaning of my name meant a lot to me. It means to be a part of a bigger whole. And at the end, I talked about how I am a part of a bigger whole and this bigger whole would be the fight for gender equality. And also I did the same thing where I connected myself to the University of California and how I plan on getting involved actively within their campus. All schools really like students that are active on their campus, contributing to clubs, meeting new people, and just growing within the school community. So I really think they appreciated that. I also talked about a specific extracurricular that I did, which was the J Computer Academy and I really think that you should do that in your essays bring out the different extracurriculars that you've slightly touched upon in your extracurricular section and expand on it so they know more about how much it means to you now for my last essay this was the prompt every person has a creative side and it can be expressed in many ways problem solving original and innovative thinking and artistically to name a few describe how you express your creative side Instagram 128 gigabytes of storage isn't enough each day is filled with endless flashes of my iPhone camera capturing glimpses of life. My ability to enhance these moments with the proper aperture, mean, and angle encapsulates my creativity. Yet the images weren't only stored with me, as I proceeded to share them with the world through Instagram. Every picture undergoes a unique life cycle, starting with raw values and contrast, then shifts to subtle tones and a finer resolution after trained editing. Apps like Pixar and Lightroom, the holy works of editors, are always open on my phone. The process of refining images allows me to tap into my storytelling ability, adding some yellow flowers to emphasize the hope in one's face or inserting playful fonts to accentuate the mood. My signature flair to photos flourishes on Instagram, a jigsaw puzzle where I fit images and techniques together to create a riveting feed. Through building a content calendar where I plan campaign posts for sustainability groups and women's organizations, I opened up a venue for learning visual marketing techniques. I also implemented back-end marketing designs while integrating stories within images, allowing for thousands of viewers to engage with the posts. My process of planning out every feed to the nth degree helps me conceptualize assortments of images and determine where they best fit in the jigsaw puzzle. Editing and marketing have enabled me to contribute to my community projects. Namely, I took the initiative of revamping the Red Cross's social media page as they were struggling to bring in donations. With my eye-catching edits of bold text, popping colors, and technical adjustments, more individuals were drawn to their posts. 
making it easier to donate, share, and repost invaluable information. The Red Cross received record high donations, and I am proud that my creative talent positively impacted the community. The artistic process of customizing photos empowers me to evoke emotions through images and words, similar to marketing. I learned that it all comes down to storytelling, which I hope to entwine with my major and further explore in college. So for this essay, I really wanted to bring in some creative aspect of myself and during quarantine, I really used to be on Instagram, on other organizations' Instagrams and curate their feeds. And I thought that this would be a fun way to talk about Instagram, which was a huge part of my life because it was a way that I connected with other people and connected with other organizations. And I talked about how I was able to directly impact the Red Cross. And I really think that's important in all the essays that I've written. I've connected what I do, how it's important to an organization or how it's important improve life in some way, and also how I'm planning on taking this to the University of California. I really think that this specific prompt allowed me to touch more on my creative side, and I talked about marketing, writing, creating an image, storytelling, Instagram, all these things that really mean a lot to me, and I wrote it in a super creative way. Now for some tips for the essays, I really think that what you write about is less important than how you write it, because you could be writing about anything in the world, but if you make it interesting in the way that you write it, then someone's going to want to read it. But if your topic is super interesting, but you don't know how to properly express that in writing, then it's not going to be that interesting of a story. Something that I really liked that I did was the storytelling part of everything. They all had a theme. They all ended up coming together. It was common that throughout my essays, I was talking about women's organizations, sustainability, my storytelling ability, communication, and all of that tied together to create my app holistically. Something that I noticed from my essays is that it didn't take me that long to write my first draft. Most of the time went in editing. If you're realizing that you're struggling to write a lot about a certain topic, maybe try switching topics because you might not be as passionate about what you're trying to say. But by saying it in another way or adding another element of your life into it and connecting two pieces together, it might turn out to be written more gracefully. An example of this is that I wanted to talk about my communication, but I didn't have enough to say with just about my communication skills. I wanted to talk about how this came about, like who do I like communicating with? And then I connected it to my favorite restaurant, which is Panda Express. So in this one essay, I was able to bring my favorite restaurant, Panda Express, fortune cookies, communication, my storytelling ability, and it all created this beautiful essay that I've really come to appreciate. Even reading them now, one to two years after writing them, I do see that there's a lot of things that could have changed, but I'm also super proud of how they turned out. Don't stress too much about your essay. Make sure that you allow a few select people to read over it, but not too many opinions because that could cloud your own image of your essays and you really want it to be authentically yourself. So do your best to put yourself out there on paper. I know it's pretty hard and no one should expect that from you because you cannot curate your whole high school experience into a few essays, but really try your best. If you ever need any help or want me to look over your essays, feel free to email me at anshika.oj at gmail.com. You can also follow my Instagram. It's anshikaocha. Thanks for watching.